McNamara, after the game, said that maybe in the past some Michigan teams don't win that game, but this team is different. Um, and you said after the Wisconsin game that you felt there was a vibe about that team. Is there anything you can attribute that difference to, that change that, that people are talking about, that players are talking about? Um, yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a special group of guys um, that, that really like football. Uh, you, you see it when they when they practice the energy that they bring uh, the fun they're having the grit uh, that's where I went. and more more of them like that yeah. and from the new coaches what differences or changes have they brought that are making an impact that you're seeing now through six games um, yeah I think it starts with the coordinators um, uh, just a uh, the way the way they work together, the uh, the, uh, the energy and the passion that they bring. Um, I really uh, attribute a lot of that to you know, being a uh, you know fresh, cohesive group uh, that's attacking it um, on defense, offense, and special teams. Brad Hawkins was the Big Ten Defensive Player of the Week. Can you just talk about how he played in that game and how he's been for you all year? Yeah, he's uh, he's been fabulous. I mean, that you know, made one of those incredible type of plays in the game again at uh, Nebraska, and being able to you know, rip the fumble out and then and go go get it, cause the fumble, pick it up. Uh, and that was a that was an incredible play. That was. Uh, as incredible as Dax Hill's interception, as Mike Samrasil's catch, um, as Hassan Haskins leaping over uh, you know, would-be tackler, uh, and Brad's been—he's uh, been extremely consistent, and he's. You know, this isn't the first time he's made one of those one of those type of incredible plays. Because of the way it's going, is there any part of you that wishes there was a game Saturday, or is this a good time for this to fall and get some guys healed and rested up? Yeah, I would. Uh, I would lean more to this a good time to to get some guys uh, rested and healed up. And, yeah. and just to go back to that, I mean, the, you hate to make comparisons with any any. This team, that team. I mean, uh, you know, I I know exactly where Kate's coming from, and and um, you know, and probably more so maybe comparing this team to last year's team. And, uh, uh, last team was last year was pretty darn thin when it when it was all said and done in terms of um, you know, who really thought it was in their best interest to to play football and or not. You know, based on a based on a worldwide pandemic, uh, but there's there's no doubt that uh, you know, this this group, you know, going back to uh, you know, January, mid January, February, we just started uh, the amount of guys that were bought in, uh, you know, that uh, you know, were hungry to. Uh, be good. You know, picked up, picked up some experience in the 20 season, um, but just uh, you know, daily, weekly, monthly, the way they, the way they worked and came together, and as a as a group of players, has been, been very special. And in a lot of ways, it reminds me of some teams we've had in the past. Um, 15 to 16 team, uh, 18 to 19 team, uh, 17 team, uh, and, and in many ways very, very similar. And yet to be seen, maybe better. You know, they still have the license and the ability to do that.